Happy birthday, Tom Hardy, a new Venom poster, and some information from IGN. Let's get into today's episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the show. And today we're going to talk about a few quick things. Obviously, first and foremost, happy birthday to Tom Hardy. Belated birthday. I'm sorry I'm behind on this. Uh, as some of you know, I've been working really hard on a, a thing that could hopefully change my life. I've been working on a TV pilot and I can't say any more than that. I had to be super vague due to all the contracts and everything that had to be signed. Uh, but I turned everything in today and I've been working on it all weekend and I did 52 pages in the last three and a half to four days. I started like mid-Friday and, uh, and just kept going. And and it's been a crazy weekend on top of working all day Saturday and all day Sunday at my everyday job. Uh, it's been a lot. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there waiting for me. So now we're back. Uh, I'll have a few days before I have to start getting into notes and everything on the script that I'm working on. So in these few days, we're going to tackle some of the stuff that has been releasing online, mostly coming from IGN. So after we got through the happy birthday to Tom, uh, everyone, you know, sound off in the comments, say happy birthday to Tom if you haven't already. I've been sharing the stuff on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook as well uh, to show my support for him and on his birthday and everything and excited that he's our Venom, that he's our Eddie Brock. Uh, I couldn't be more excited and the movie's now just over two weeks away. I'm so pumped for this movie and I can see a lot of you guys are getting more and more hyped and uh, one of the things that came out today was like an international poster which I'll have right here and we had a lot of you know different feedback on it a lot of people were you know kind of dogging on it I'll be honest with you as someone who's worked in Photoshop and done a lot of things for marketing and stuff I can kind of see things in this poster that I, I personally don't like and I could see where some criticism of it comes from and I agree with some of that criticism uh, but overall I think it, it's a neat concept for a poster uh, but I get really you know, I don't really like a lot of, uh, you know, fading images into each other and doing like this, you know, it kind of almost kind of looks like their version of like, just like some big kind of epic thing. It's like, all right, we got Eddie Brock here, the symbiote's coming off him. That alone would have been a cool image with maybe Riz and uh, Michelle behind him, and then maybe like the, the symbiote. Uh, but then you have, you know, like the, the buildings and you have, you know, the, the shuttle and everything. And there's all these elements that are kind of bleeding together. And although I think that's great for, you know, uh, capturing the essence of everything that's in the movie into one image, uh, it does come across very busy and it doesn't look like it's laid out too well and some of the fading and dissolving into each image and the overlapping doesn't really work for me uh, but I saw a lot of you guys liked it and at the end of the day that's all I care about whatever gets you guys more hyped for this movie because obviously I'm excited and I'm as we're getting closer I'm just more and more intrigued I really want this movie to be well or to be a good movie and to do well uh, financially and I hope it leads to more projects like this and uh, today and what they're going to do all week is IGN uh, their website is going to have these great things things like every day is going to be something different today uh, early this morning we had a uh, terry schwartz over at ign released this video where she actually got to go visit the set of the film and it looks like a lot of these pictures or some of them look like they're taken in atlanta because they got or at least the footage she was given to use for this video uh looks like they're from atlanta because they're in eddie's apartment and we know that was a closed set in atlanta from earlier videos that uh, videos that we made on this show so we already know that was a closed set but she had like you know uh images and video from video village where it was like showing the screen and tom hardy was running at it and there's all these different things going on uh, i'm not going to show any of the footage of this i'm you know going to save all this stuff for ign i'm going to put a link down below if you want to go check out their video with terry in it she's talking to paul franklin who's one of the visual effects supervisors and then also um skull i can't i can't I'm forgetting his uh, first name i think it's oliver oliver skull and uh, oliver is uh, one of the producers of the film production designer of the film and uh, she's talking to both of them so it's kind of neat because you're not getting the usual interviews that we get we get you know reuben fleischer tom hardy and a lot of times they say some of the same stuff over and over because they're trying not to reveal too much or give too much insight into something else but hearing from these two guys even though some of it is you know kind of things we've heard before it is nice to kind of put the spotlight on someone else who's working on the movie and kind of give a shout out to some of these other jobs uh, you know that these people have on the movie that's what we like to do here we like to make videos about you know different job titles and, and what people do when they're working on movie sets to kind of hopefully educate all of us, myself included, on what some of these jobs are. So it's neat that we get some of these guys. And I think we've mentioned, uh, I know, I think we mentioned Paul Franklin before being visual effects supervisor, um, but Oliver, he's a new name to the show. I haven't mentioned him on any of the episodes that I remember. Um, but so she interviews him, she talks about them, about the, you know, the Venom, 
his origin, not doing, you know, doing the movie without Spider-Man involved and retelling the origin without Spider-Man and what that means and, you know, and everything. And you're kind of getting these guys' perspective on it. And these are guys that are just working on, like, specific things in the movie. Production designer is working on the look of the film, maybe Eddie's apartment or maybe some of the locations that they're at, like the little convenience store where he, like, you know, threatens that guy, calls him a turd in the wind and everything. Um... So you kind of get a guy like that who's working on things, and then visual effects supervisor who is someone who's kind of working on the look of Venom and is just part of the you know the group that is designing the character overall and trying to stick to you know the character as close as they can, knowing that they can't do stuff like the white spider and everything like that. And we've seen IGN, and they even have a link to it in this uh, article of where they talked to Ruben Fleischer about why the white spider is not on uh, Venom's chest in the movie. And we talked about that before on the show, so I'm not going to go over it now. But if you want to see it, a lot of the information he is here at this one link. So I'm going to put that down below. And uh, people were asking me, like I said, about the poster. I gave you my thoughts on that. It's kind of just my general feeling. As I like the poster overall. It looks neat. And it definitely caught my eye and caught my attention. But the more I studied it, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I, I would have streamlined this, streamlined this a little bit. I would have done that a little bit better. Um, but overall, it was good to see a lot of people like it. So uh, so let me know what you think down below if you like that poster. And let me know if you checked out this uh, interview here uh, from Terry Schwartz over at IGN. I would love to. And I don't think I've been seen any stuff with Terry. So it was also kind of cool because usually I see Joshua Yell and a couple other people. I see some familiar faces on IGN. So it was neat to see someone that I don't see a lot of. I, to be honest, I don't go to IGN a lot. Uh, but it was nice to see kind of a new face, to me anyway, uh, and getting this exclusive and going to talk to these gentlemen on this film and get us some new information about it. And apparently, like I said, IGN is going to be doing this all week, so I will try to cover it the best I can for you guys. But first and foremost, I'm going to put links to their stuff down below, and I probably won't show off too much stuff that they have on their website. Um, you know, after getting that copyright strike from Eminem, I'm kind of like a little shy when it comes to posting and sharing certain things, so I'm going to keep that going until after the movie comes out. So I'll, I'll try to be a little bit better about uh, you know showing off too much and I'll give you guys a choice if you want to go see it for yourself I'll put it in the description box down below but I know you guys come here for information and Venom stuff so hopefully I did that for you today go check out this link check out this information and also let me know what you think of the you know poster that just came out and also sound off and say happy birthday to Tom down below thanks so much for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace